describe Mario to be very smart, take a lot of chances in the past, all the way for developing what he done, and they been very lucky in many ways, at the right time, the right place. But through the years, it become one of the best entrepreneur and best men in our community. As a father, uh, it's very, uh very easy going, actually. Uh, a lot of people wouldn't say that. Uh, you know, he expects certain things, but uh, you know, he, he's always been lenient as far as what we wanted to do. Uh, I didn't originally start working with my dad's company till you know maybe about four years ago. But uh, I kind of wanted to go a different route, still in the same areas of of uh, business, but in a different route. And he was always supportive of that, and uh, you know. Uh, I think he enjoyed us going out on our own. My, my brother's an engineer by, by education, and uh, he worked for years at an engineering firm. Uh, and I worked in uh, the, the sales aspect of real estate. I think he always viewed it as, uh, you know, kind of making it on our own and uh, learning without having someone there to protect you all the time. He is definitely a, a very hardworking person and uh, he's very determined and, and very knowledgeable and, and knows what, uh, what he wants and knows a, the, the proper way to go about achieving it. Well, I came to Canada in 1956 and there was no jobs here, it was young men. And by 1965, we worked a little bit I already bought a home, and then I decided to go to be a contractor. So I started with uh, subcontract first, you know, masonry contract. That's my trade, by the way. And I did that in about two, three years, but then I wanted to do more. I started building homes. So I went and I bought 20 lot and toddling. Everybody thought I was completely, i going to go bankrupt because crazy. And I remember that, uh, that was in 1967. I, I called for excavation, the first home, somebody stopped there, I bought the house. And a man still, this man still live in this home today. You know, I see him. And I sold those houses fast. And from that, then, you know, I said I need more land. So I started looking at uh, Tecumseh. But there was no sewer, nothing. But I took my chance and I bought this 10 acre land. But there was no sewer, but I got a permit for a septic tank. By the time I get all the approval, Tecumseh got the sewer. And that went like a fire. You know, I was the only one. It was only 40 lots, but at that time it was big for me. And then in the meantime, I look around Tecumseh and I find another couple hundred lots. Then I, we had to amalgamate with some other group. And the company went like a partnership because we were like four parcel and we had to do the whole thing together. But in the meantime, I always did Valendi by myself. I see the community view of my father uh, very much as a, a quiet person. Uh, keeps to himself, doesn't uh, go around, uh, you know, flaunting any type of success. But, uh, you know, uh, he's very well respected. Uh, some people have always said, you know, it's, they, they hate to do a deal with my dad because they always feel like they, they lose, but they always say he's an honest man. So uh, I said, whatever he promised, he always delivered. And I think that's been probably the key to his success. As a being very rich man, he's being very good to his two boys. He's been great to his family at large. And, and he likes people and all the way like to socialize with the community, the Italian at large, and he likes to travel, and, and he does great things. 
he is well respected and admired uh, throughout the Italian community and 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 and, and others. Um, and he is he's known as a as an honest and hardworking individual. Um, he's known as being successful, and he and he and he's known also as being down to earth. And uh, uh, I don't think there's an arrogant bone in his body. And I think he he I think people respect him for that. And um, it's one of the things I looked up look up to him for as well. I want to say to Mario as a friend, good luck, get doing. You like Barger got such good boys that as everybody show you two boys like you got it. God bless you and all the family. Good luck. Thank you to the uh, committee for honoring our family with this award. And um, I'd also like to extend congratulations out to the other recipients. Um, many, uh, I know most of them, um, and I think that they're well deserved. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody I did business with. The city, it's a beautiful city. I'm proud to be in Canada. And I think this is a land of opportunity, but you have to work hard. Nobody's gonna hand it to you. And I'd like to thank Chiba to put me up on this chair right now.